Q Grams, Q Music. Who do you think you are? You'll all know that from in your music. Nancy Craig was here. We're talking about who do you think you are for beasties today? Doggy DNA to find out what their lineage is. We have four dog owners. We're going to be meeting throughout the show today. And Nancy has the DNA results and the envelopes, of course, here. But first, Nancy, tell me about DNA. It's a relatively new thing that you can actually check What's your dog if you have a mixed breed dog? Yeah. What, what it's made up of? And I'm so excited about it because I think like I own rescue dogs that are mixed yeah. breeds and you spend your life trying to explain to people, oh, it's a yeah, it's a little bit of a Bichon, yeah. it's a little bit of a I mean, yeah. when I was younger, I had, um, we had like a Collie mix thing and I told everyone it was a rare breed of wire-haired Border Collie. And now like, this is the first designer breed. But I was a total mutt. Yeah. But it's so, you're always curious for their lives. Who are they and where do they come from? What That's was true. their mum? What was yeah. their dad? Yeah. So I think the fact that you can actually get DNA testing done in Cork is fascinating because, I mean, it's good to know for the dog's health as well or it's temperament. True. Good to know for the dog's health. Okay, so it's simple enough. Let's take a look at this piece of footage. This is Nancy, and she's going to show us here in this. So this is your own dog, Meg. Yeah, that's Meg. So it's just a quick swab of the, we're taking the actual skin cells from inside the cheek. So you just do that four times of four separate swabs. And then all you need to do then is just simply post it back. So you pop it in a little envelope and post it back okay. to DNA Ireland. And this is the swab itself. That's so the swab. Let it dry first. Let it dry for a minute. So we just pop them in a cup, okay. let them dry, pop them into the envelope with your details and then back to DNA Ireland. Okay, DNA breed identification. It sounds fantastic. It's a great idea. Now we have, as we said, four dogs. We're going to introduce the first dog. This is Maria O'Sullivan and this is her dog, Tiny. I love this dog. Named Tiny. Hello. Hello, I'm a little tiny. bit obsessed with Tiny. Oh, I really want to see him. He's amazing. He is Where did you get Tiny? Tiny came from the Cork Dog Action Welfare Group and okay. he's actually an ambassador for the Dog Action Welfare Chris. Group. Still. And a charity here in Cork. It is a charity here in Cork. We're a rescue group. He this does a lot fantastic. of fundraising for them still because he's... Um, Really fantastically, yeah. Uh, He's a great striking. mascot. Yeah. He is striking as well. Okay. What breed do you think Tiny is? My guess is a German Shepherd and some kind of giant breed, like maybe a Bernese Mountain Dog or okay. something like that. Okay. But what do you think? Well, personally, I think Bernese Mountain Dog, I saw him outside and I thought definitely, I don't know about German Shepherd, I would almost think, could there be a little bit of Malamut, you know, the uh, Malamut? I'm not telling you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a second, can I do it? But I think actually the markings now, looking at his markings, I think you're, there's, there could be a German Shepherd in there. So that's three. Are you ready? Yeah, can you tell us? Okay, I okay. will tell you, I will reveal all. So Hi. Tiny, we'll tell you what you are. Oh, he he is primarily German Shepherd. No way. Yeah, What's so we can see, Look at we can see the colours, the colours, and you can see he's got German Shepherd-y eyes. Shepherd. That yeah. is 60 to 80 percent German Shepherd, so it's a good chunk of German Shepherd. Next up then, which I thought as well, Golden Retriever. Okay. So he's got sure. another little chunk of Golden Retriever. Now he's mainly German Shepherd, but a bit of German she a bit of Golden Retriever. And then last, but not least, and this is true because it's taken from his DNA, he's a small bit of a basset hound. <laughs> <laughs> so you were never in Basset. I cannot believe. So why is it so big? Is that the golden There's probably a small, maybe just a filtering percentage of larger breeds. And then as well, he just happened to come out big. So I mean, if we met his brothers and sisters, they mightn't be as large as he is. I'm a shock. But it's no, If you look at Harry's ears. Now, can you explain one thing, Nancy? How come he doesn't have the German Shepherd ears? Because he's got a bit of Basset, Basset. and Retriever ears. He got the retriever ears of that DNA. I'm actually shocked. I'm, shocked. I'm, so I'm stunned that there's no giant breed. I was convinced that yeah. there was some sort of half giant breed in him. Yeah. I'm but really it's surprised. funny because, I mean, at the end of the day, this is who he is. But what they come out to look like it's can vary. Nancy, we're going to hold on to Nancy. We have three more dogs to go through. Keep watching. If you have dogs at home as well, actually, you might do this again. Three more dogs. Oh, you're up next, aren't you? A bass at home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul Jeremy Coyle. <laughs> this is serious, lads. This, this can't be true. A bass at home. DNA doesn't lie. DNA doesn't like there you have it Nancy I'll be over later on we have two more dogs for me to meet and I think more is back later on the show as well still to come with Nancy Creighton is back with more golden envelopes with loads of secrets inside that we have some more uh, doggy DNA uh, next dog we have out here is Frankie can we get Frankie out here please we have Trevor Murphy here as well tell me something about Frankie Frankie first. has just been adopted he's Aww. from Dog Action Welfare Group and he's just gotten his forever home Aww. but his new owners obviously are a little bit curious to know exactly what Frankie is now uh, Trevor what do you think Frankie is and um, we were saying Vormarine or, or um, possibly Great Dane. A Great Dane, a, a mixture of both. Do um, you want to take a guess? Yes. Um, <laughs> or dog expert? I, uh, a golden retriever. No. Okay. Okay. okay, so Frankie is primarily Labrador. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a picture there as well. I'd imagine he might be the chocolate Labrador, but mm -hmm. nobody gets... 68%. Exactly, mm -hmm. and nobody gets Lab, so we now know he's a good bit of Lab. 
Next up, he's actually part Alaskan Malamute. Oh, you, you, yeah. you, you can see Did you? Yeah, Maura yeah. got that. Maura yeah. said Malamute. If, if, if we have a look at his eyes, there, that kind of gives that lovely blue eyes. Yeah. It does, but wait till we're finished. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so he also is a small bit of Siberian Husky. Okay. And now the Malamutes don't do the blue eyes, so it's the Malamute, uh, the Husky would give the blue eyes. And then, as we're revealing already, mm -hmm. he's also part Airedale Terrier. What? Yeah, so you, but I think that now that we know it, when you look at him, he does have quite a long muzzle. Yeah. He does look houndy, and there's no hound in him. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the actual Airedale Terrier that's giving him the long. Because he's very, very long, yeah. actually, isn't he? He's, he's stunning, though, isn't he? His eyes are beautiful. And you, you said, you told me before not to go like that and tap it down. Never put your hand up. Exactly, okay, I'm so, teaching you. So just like under this. the chin. Exactly. Why, why, look, why he's coming near it to you. Because that's scary. Nobody likes a hand over the head. Yeah, you can really don't see like the husky, it. can't you? You can, you can see it in the eyes. He's got lovely blue eyes. Okay. And he's just looking for treats now, isn't he? Uh, uh, Trevor, bring Frankie off there. <laughs> Go on, Frank. Lovely stuff. Uh, but it's great because he's just guys. gotten a home now as well, so we can let his new owners know exactly who he is. Mm -hmm. Now, we have Charlie as well, and Trish yeah. O'Neill is coming out with Charlie. Yeah. Trish is a dog trainer, mm -hmm. so come on, Trish. <laughs> You'll have to show off your skills. And Charlie was adopted from Glencilla in Cork. Charlie's in great form. Charlie's like a Charlie. stunner. Charlie's very soft. She is very soft. Charlie with a Y, so she's a girl. Good job I didn't uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. So what, what do you think, Trish? There's what definitely Shepherd in there, but what else is in there, we have no idea. Is there any bit of a collie there, I wonder? That's a good guess. It is a good guess. I'll give you yeah. credit for that okay. one. And, and but uh, Charlie's no. very, very soft. Charlie's stunning. Yeah, she's a good girl. And to be fair, she did have a bath the other day she as well. <laughs> she's okay. looking her best. So she's Charlie touched. is. Okay. Trish is spot on. She's majority uh, German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. So um, 70 to 89% German Shepherd. And then, this is what I like. She's got a very small bit of Alaskan Malamute in her again. Really? Yes. She's wow. the mother but of again, it's just a small bit of DNA in her and then a very small bit of Siberian Husky. Oh. And I love Huskies. The Siberian, <laughs> the, all I have one thing to say, the Siberian Husky has been doing the rounds. It's been yes. related to lots of dogs on the show today. <laughs> and the Malamute. And the Malamute. <laughs> they do <think> <laughs> So, oh, she's beautiful. Well, no, the thing is with Charlie, because mm -hmm. I know Charlie, the more I'm looking at her now, I can see the man yeah. and the husky coming out in her eyes, I yeah. think. So there's no collie at all in there? No collie, so. but it was a good guess, okay. and I would have said collie or retriever as well, so mm -hmm. we were both wrong. That's it. What do you think? Are you I'm delighted. Delighted, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. I love it. <laughs> nice stuff, thank you very much, no, and thank, thank you, thank Charlie, you. for coming in today. I think we've one more to go, more. and um, that's with Maura a little later on. Yeah. Maura's very, very excited about this, by the way, I have to say. It's a good one. She is, she's nodding the head down. <laughs> I love all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I really love all this stuff. But you know what? I remember watching Crofts and uh, who does Crofts again? Claire Bald Balding. Claire Balding. And she Balding was, yeah, and she was on with Jonathan Ross and I actually guessed two different dogs that the breeds were and she didn't get it. So then I felt really kind of great. Oh, what with Claire and with Maura? There you have now it's time for our final part of doggy DNA and Nancy is here now. She tells me that we've saved the best for last. So Definitely. I am really excited to see this next little beastie. This is Sparky, and yep. who's bringing him out is Kevin O'Regan. Now, come on, Sparks. Hello. Now, so Hi, pressure's Kevin. on everybody to guess what Sparky is. Now, did Sparky keep showing up at your door? Yes, Sparky adopted us. Adopted you, yeah. so he kept coming to the door all the time. He kept coming to the door, and he eventually was... You just took him out. Yeah, he came in, and that was it, he stayed. <laughs> and when was that? About seven years ago. He's oh, and this was not lovely. But that's lovely, when they do, when the dog picks the family. Now, do you, did you ever think about what he is, what a mix he is? Well, we think he's got corgi in him, because he his size and his colouring, but... What about his tail though? He's quite yeah, bushy. It's real, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think he's got a big breed in the sense of his, his tail. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving <laughs> anything away. Okay, I think, well, let me see, I think he has got a really big breed in there somewhere. I, I, I don't know, like nearly like a husky or something. I know that sounds mad or something or, I don't know. Anyway. I think you have to think outside the box of this little fella yeah. as well. I mean, we can see that sometimes, because I mean, Nancy was just saying, with dogs, in a litter there can be multiple fathers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you really don't know what you're getting, do you know, you can never assume when you know the mum and dad, when you think you know the mum and dad, what you're going to get. And I suppose that my dog's like Sparky, where you don't even know where your bloody king yeah, yeah. you're not going to know you where it's going to be. Yeah. Okay, are you going to tell us? I will. Okay. Go on, because I'm so really this interested one. in this. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Because the thing is, if they found the DNA, then it's in there, okay? Okay. Right. So, first off, Border Collie. Border Collie? Yes. Okay. Now, I would have gone with that as well myself. And he does have a bit of an old collie look to him. All right. So that's first up. Next up, then we have our Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, I can see a little so, bit. So yeah, face. again, we'd go with that. I'm happy enough with that. That would have been that little bit more predictable. But then the ones that are a little bit less predictable. He right. also is part Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Right. Okay. So that's a little bit different. 
And then you were right with the big dog. He's also part Rottweiler. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. You're a Rottweiler. Rottweiler. You're a Rottweiler. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Well, that's I like the rotten. Rotten. So that's the Rottweiler. Yeah, and again, because Rottweilers do, ha- they used to have their tails docked off them. They do have quite chunky tails, do so they, it's yeah. not abnormal to see a kind of solid tail like that. Um, and I suppose it's in there. Yeah. I'd say the Rottweiler surprised you. Surprised me big. He thought he was big, just big. a corgi. Yeah, yeah. But that might be a Labrador on the corner. Do you know what? That's such street cred, it's not. It really is. But again, <laughs> yeah. and then with the Cavalier King Charles, because again, dogs are dogs, you know, they'll all, their temperament depends on how yeah. they're raised. But R- Rottweilers obviously have a reputation of being tough. And then King Charles, is, King Charles is in and meant to be like the pussycat yeah, dog. Yeah. So he's really got a little bit of everything in him. Such a sweetheart. Well, whatever he is, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> thank you so <laughs> much for bringing okay. it. Nancy, thank you very much as well, because yeah. we should talk about the DNA. It's DNA Ireland is the company they're yeah. in court and they will test any dog any breed. for and you. I also think it's a great Christmas present as well it for someone something. who kind of has everything but they have a mixed breed dog it's good to know it is great okay thank you of course to our little beasties and of course their owners thank you very much yeah. Rottweiler yes seriously he looks more like a cat than a Rottweiler <laughs> anyway don't